In Outlast episode, we learned how to assess the lower cross syndrome and its dysfunctions. Now it's time to fix it. In this video, we are going to see best rehab exercises to treat lower cross syndrome using Jonda's proven approach. These exercises will help relieve lower back pain, restore hip stability, and improve core control. Jonda's method follows a three-phase approach to correct movement dysfunctions. Step 1. Inhibit overactive muscles. Step 2. Activate weak muscles. And Step 3. Integrate functional movement. In Step 1, stretching and inhibiting tight muscles is important to relax and lengthen tight muscles that contribute to postural imbalance. The exercises involve half-kneeling stretch, Child's pose for erector spinae stretch and the hamstring stretch. You can perform each stretch for five to seven times and hold each stretch for three to five seconds. Step two is activating weak muscles. Now we activate the weak inhibited muscles that are essential for maintaining proper pelvic stability. The exercises include the glute bridges with simultaneous hip abductor activation, sideline clamshell for hip abductors, dead bug exercises for strengthening glutes, you can perform each exercise five to seven times and two sets of these exercises and try isometric, eccentric, as well as concentric training with these exercises. With these, you can use these exercises and tips for bonus here. Foam rolling on quads and hip flexors are also going to release tight muscles. Also, you can try activating posterior pelvic tilt plus hip abductors plus leg extensions at the same time for better muscle training. Also, you can advise low back pain patients to use hot fermentation in 90-90 position for best results. Step three is now functional integration. This means to integrate the exercises and functions of daily living. To prevent lower cross syndrome from returning, we must train proper movement control and endurance. You can perform the following exercises for functional integration. Now, here are some important insights in daily routine perform. Stretching and mobility, five minutes. Muscle activation, five to seven minutes. Functional drills, five minutes. And progression should be like. Increase resistance every two to three weeks. Add functional movement challenges. Example, step ups, single leg squats. Train postural endurance with prolonged holds and isometric control. Now that we've corrected lower crossed syndrome, our next video will focus on layer syndrome how to assess and fix this full body postural dysfunction. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.